Tanner shoes. We must live up to our slogan. The world walks on Tanner shoes. Now, you're my manager down here, and you've got to put this store over. And furthermore, don't talk back to me. But I didn't say anything. I was only thinking... Don't even think back to me. I won't have it. You're here to sell shoes, not to think. And if I don't see some results when I get back here on my next trip, you're fired. Now, do you understand me? You're fired. Give me a match. Never mind, I'll light it myself. There you are. Sets your foot off beautifully. Now that's the uh, 4A of what we call the perfect model. What is it? Oh, why, madam, the leather, uh, uh, the leather in the tanner shoe is made from the hides of contented cows. Uh, now, I think they're very becoming. Uh, what do you think? I think you'd better cut out this tomfoolery. Go up front and help trim that window. Yes, sir. I, I was just practicing to be a salesman, Mr. Endicott. You'll never make a salesman. Salesmanship is 98% personality, and that's something you haven't got. Oh, yes, I have. Look. Ah, that's not personality, that's stupidity. Get up front and help Williams trim that window. Yes. It was very nice on that. Yes, yeah, so it looks smart, too. You know, it's a 4A for what we call the perfect foot. Notice how snug it fits? And I have a new sport model I'd like to show you. I'd like very much. Can you pardon me a minute? I'd like you to show me something in a white double, please. Yes, will you be seated? I'll Thank have you. a man wait on you right away. Where's the other leg? I'm going to get it. I'll, I'll be right back. Pardon me. Why, of course. What in the world is the matter, I madam? never was so insulted in my life. I think that left one's a little tight. Haven't you a larger size? Uh, no, I haven't. But I can have it stretched for you and make it very comfortable. All right. While that's being done, will you show me that sport shoe there? Surely. Boy, stretch this shoe. Does that feel all right? Yes. Hey, just let me lace it up for you. Well, I think it's a little tight, though. A little tight? Just let me take it off and stretch it for you. There, how's that? That's all right. I like that shoe very much. That shoe he's stretching looks very serviceable. I doubt, madam, if you'll ever be able to wear it out. Yeah. You may leave 15 minutes early and deliver these on your way home. Yes, sir. How does that feel? That feels fine. I thought it would. So, well, madam, your instep is much too beautiful to be spoiled by a short vamp shoe. Oh, do you really think so? I certainly do. Now, that feels very well in there, doesn't it? And it's comfortable. Madam, and it's th your instep is much too beautiful to be spoiled by a shirt. Yes, ma'am. Always. Yes, ma'am. Never! Would you get me a glass of water? Yes, ma'am. Henry, 
Bertie, did you put my music in the car? Yes, miss. You find it on the back seat. Oh, I haven't. Here it is. Say, Handy. Yeah, he ain't got no right busting into my car that way either. Anyway, I think you did it on purpose. Get back in the car, Henry. Don't pay any attention to this big brute. Say, lady, this is a private scrap. I'll pull that guy out of that car. Yeah, here, here. What do you mean by using that tone of voice, this young lady? Why, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Besides, you have no right leaving your car parked here in other people's way. Now listen, if this happens again, I'm going to see to it personally. Why don't you get a shave? It, it's too bad that this had to happen then. Uh, if, if he annoys you again, you just let me know. Thank you very much. Oh, well, the pleasure's really all mine. Bye. Bye. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'll, I'll get it. I don't know how I can ever thank you, Mr. Harold. Mr. Harold. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, now, let that be a lesson to you. Listen, Kramer. You're an incompetent idiot. You haven't got any more backbone than a steam clam. Now, you get busy and get some results, or you're discharged. Understand me? D-I-S-K... You're fired! Get me that number back again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello? Hello? Is this you, Kramer? Did I call you an idiot? I did. Okay. Mr. Kennedy, is there something wrong? Something? Everything. If the rest of the people I have working for me were half as efficient as you are, I'd be happy as a schoolboy. Mm. <laughs> There's no such thing as a perfect man. Well, Mr. Tanner, I think you're mistaken. The real. There is one. A perfect man. Have you been holding out on me, young lady? I met him this afternoon. She's beautiful. You know, Mr. Carson, I I've always dreamed of meeting the one girl. Today I, I went around the corner and there she was. <laughs> You've got it bad, haven't you, my mm. son? I well, say, you going to talk about that girl all night, or are you going to thread my needle for me, huh? Oh, I almost forgot. I'll get her right away, Mr. Carson. Mm. When are you going to see her again? Never, I guess. She's rich, got a big car. Besides, what chance have I with 18 a week? You'll soon be making more money than that. You're going to be a salesman in a very little while. Yes. Yeah. Salesman. A lot of good that'll do. You know, Mr. Carson, up to today, I thought being a salesman was something great. Gee, a girl that comes from a family like that, like, she wouldn't give a, a salesman a second look. Oh, but you are not always going to be a salesman. Keep driving on, and then perhaps you're going to be manager of the store. Who knows? In a very little while, you may be president of the company. Gee. Oh, but that's liable to take two or three months. There's got to be a shortcut somewhere. Now that if I could only meet her on her own level. Hmm. And I'm going to do it, too. Stick to it, my son. That's it. 
sticking. That's the only way. I wish only I had stuck. Now, gentlemen, we come to the subject of leather. Very few people realize what leather really is and what it means to mankind. Where would we be without leather? I ask you. It's leather that turns the wheels of our industries. It's leather in the time of war, furnishes our horses with harness to pull the cannons to conquer our enemies. And then, where would Napoleon have been without leather to make a saddle? He'd been riding bareback. <laughs> and then think, think of shoes. Without them, we would be uncivilized. Barefoot, like the Igorode. through snow and slush barefoot? Could we walk through the desert barefoot? No! A thousand times! No! Five. That's the way you should have talked at the American Club two months ago. Huh. That was splendid. Yes, I, I, I know, Mr. Carson. It's it's all right, I can do it here in the room. But, I don't know, when I get out with important people, gee, I, I, I get all goose pimples. Gee, I open my mouth and nothing comes out. Oh, well, I guess you didn't want the girl as much as you thought you did. Oh, yes, but I do. Now you listen to me. Now you go to the embassy club tonight and speak right up. When you meet those big businessmen, use your correspondence courses. Impress them. You look the part, act it, sell yourself. I'll do it. I will. Now, nothing's going to stop me this time. I hope that's a mistake. That's a very unfriendly knock. Ferguson, the dress suit man. I think he's after a payment on his suit. Ooh. Gee, if I pay him now, I won't have any money for tonight. Shh. Now what am I going to do? Out to the window, down the fire escape. Great, great. Your hat. Yes. Say, son, mm -hmm. have you got that guest card that I found? Yes, I got it. Don't forget. Stick to it. Yeah, I will. I... Oh, 
Good evening, Mr. Fleming. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Are you a member? Oh, uh, son, have you seen Charlie? Charlie? Yes. Who is Charlie? What, you don't know Charlie? No, sir. Well, he walks like this. I beg your pardon. What's the name? Uh, Jones. Which Mr. Jones? Why? The Mr. Jones. Uh, have you a telegram for Mr. Jones? Yes, sir. Huh? Charges 75 cents. Wrong, Jones. Uh, keep this handy. I may be leaving suddenly. Oh, I beg your pardon. Your Honor, I had been drinking, but only a little one. I. Oh, pardon me. You forgot something. Something. Problem, all the mobbly, everything. Oh, you saved my life. <laughs> yes. I'm going to do something for you. Anything you yes, want, you just all right. tell me. Oh, so you want to wrestle. Oh, no, no, no. No, please, now. <laughs> this is hardly the place for that. Well, listen. I know a nice little place out here. Come on. It's a great little... I uh, really, I've got some place else. I've got... Uh, oh, come on now and I'll buy you a little drink. Uh, no, really, I never drink. Well, what do you do, dip your bread in it? Come on. What business are you in? Oh, uh, uh, I'm in the, uh, the leather business. Leather? Oh, that's what they make cows out of, ain't it? <laughs> Why, certainly not. That's where the leather comes from. They make a lot of things out of it. They you make shoes and... Shoes. That reminds me. I know a chap you must meet. Wait a minute. He's a big shoe and slipper man from the States. Do you a lot of good? I have his card here someplace. <coughs> Will you look at that? Lady Pillsbury. Oh. Lady Pillsbury? The big bum. She was away out in front, and Mexican Pete knows you're out. Oh, I see. Lady Pillsbury's a racehorse. What did you think she was? A mockingbird? Yes. I met her last night. Really? To me, Lady Pillsbury is one of the most charming women I have ever met. Oh, do tell me more about her. Yes, do tell us. Just a minute, just a minute. I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Mr. Edgar Cowhide, a big leather fellow. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Say, you guys should sort of get together. Oh, Charlie, you wait here. I'm going out and get a glass of Romo's... Romo's... A cup of tea. Ain't <laughs> 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 a jolly fellow. Yes. Uh, yes, quite a quite a droll fellow. Huh? We were just speaking of Lady Pillsbury. Oh, really? Hmm. Yes, she is really very remarkable. Well, she was, but uh, not anymore. Uh, do you know her? Yes, yes. Oh, I know her well. Uh, uh, Slim legs, uh, brown body, and a uh, white spot on the head. <gasps> you know, she shouldn't be allowed in public. All out of condition. Fat, flabby. <laughs> the old oat burner. <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, are you speaking of the Lady Pillsbury? Yes, positively. And listen, take a tip from me and lay off of this baby. <laughs> Why, she should be pulling a milk wagon. Oh, oh, oh that's I never heard of such a remark in all my life. I don't care. Well, I shall report that to the police. I'm awfully sorry. I'm sure it's been overlooked. I'll ask him about it in the morning and let you know immediately. Yes. Thank you very much. Goodbye. 
Oh. oh. Why, hello. Hello. I, I, I didn't think you'd remember me. And I thought you had forgotten all about me. Oh, no. I, gracious, I could... Gee, every time I see a truck driver, I think of you. What? Oh, well, you see, what I mean is, if it hadn't have been for that particular truck driver, well, I might not have ever met you. Oh, that's different. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that seems a long time ago, too. Must be all of six months. Uh, six months, three weeks, and two days. Well... Oh. Well, I'm glad you did remember anyway. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Gee, but you don't know what glad really means. I never thought a boy like you would give a girl like me a second thought. A, a, a boy like me? Yes. You have so many things to think about. Golf, bridge, tennis, so many oh. things. Oh, <laughs> yes. Well, I, um... Uh, I do think of them from time to time. <laughs> of course, I suppose you go in for golf and tennis a lot. Oh, no, I haven't the time. Oh. Oh, well, I understand. <laughs> I love an athlete. You do? Uh-huh. Oh, what's his name? Oh, no. I mean, I admire the athletic type, like yourself. Like me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I bet you're a corker at polo. Oh. Well, I, uh, I never bet. <laughs> what was that? I guess it was an earthquake. I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh. Oh, we're all tangled up. Hmm? Oh. Oh, what do you think of that? I'll get it. These beads are such a nuisance, I shouldn't have worn them. Oh, I think these are the... Nicest bees that I've ever seen. There. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Am I? I Isn't think. It lovely? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems to be having a glorious time. Yes, don't they? Well, well, I'm I'm having a fine time. Great time. Oh, we're all tangled up again. Hmm? Well, what do you think of that? I'll get it. Oh, no, no, no. I'll get it. Are you getting along all right? Well, I don't know. I've never been tangled with a pretty girl before. <laughs> it's so lovely here. I hate to think of leaving. Leaving? Soon? Yes, we're going to mainland the end of the week. Oh. Are you thinking of going to the States soon? Well, I don't know. The way things have been going, well, anything might happen. Wouldn't it be a coincidence if we both sailed on the same boat? Coincidence? It'd be a miracle. Ooh, old kid leather himself. He knows more about weather than a husband knows about trouble. Oh. Mr. Tanner, me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Harrow. Mr. Harrow, Mr. Tanner is a shoemaker. Tanner? Yes. Uh, I'm very pleased to meet you, I'm sure. I'm in the shoe manufacturing business. No doubt you've heard of Tanner's shoe stores. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yes, I've been in them quite a bit. Uh, this is the young man I was telling you about. The one that helped me with the truck driver. Oh, yes, you did say something about that. Well, this is indeed a pleasure to meet someone whose interests are practically the same as mine. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, I gotta get a Bromo switch. A little Aramelic sports from the morning. You're a peculiar boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you're in the leather business, huh? Oh, yes, yeah, yes. You see, Mr. Tanner, very few people realize what leather really is and what it means to mankind. This leather, in the time of war, uh, furnishes our horses with harness to pull the cannons, to conquer our enemies. Hmm. Where would Napoleon have been without leather to make a saddle? <laughs> Why, he'd have been riding bareback. And then, think of shoes. 
Could we walk through snow and slice barefoot? No. No. Could we walk through the desert barefoot? No. No. A thousand times, no. Why? Shoes are the greatest things in the world. <laughs> we should thank heaven for shoes, Mr. Tanner. <laughs> quite so, quite so. Say, you seem to have made a study of it. Oh. Well, uh, I am studying one thing or another most of the time. <laughs> Where do you make your headquarters? Hmm? Oh, uh, oh, practically anywhere. Oh, quite a globetrotter. We're leaving ourselves by the end of the week. I don't suppose by any chance that you'll be going back to America on the same boat. Uh, well, yes, uh, oh. and no. Uh, you see, the fact is... I thought I heard a bell. So did I. Oh, uh, well, you hear a lot of funny things down here in the tropics. Uh, uh, mosquitoes and dragons and bananas and... Oh, pardon me. Uh, yes? Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, yes, uh, now as I was about to say. No, no, I don't want to hear anything further about it. No. Uh, 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 well, uh, now, uh, there is, uh, yes, uh, there's just a chance. That's the way out. Uh, but $50,000 is top. Goodbye. <coughs> Those eruptions are uh, very annoying, aren't they? I'm terribly sorry. Uh, what was it I was, um... Oh, Mr. Harold, I realize what it means to be busy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lie. Hello, hello, hello. I... Oh, look. There's a big shoot and boom man in there. You must meet. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Well, how's everything with you now? Oh, <laughs> No, 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 oh, I... Don't be blessed. No, no, really, don't come. I'll be right back. Now, oh, now, please. Now, wait. He seems like a very bright young fellow. He must be to be in the position he is today. No, 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 no. I don't think I'll go over there. Well, I'll bring him over here. You what? Oh, Mr. Endicott. Mr. Endicott. I want you to meet Mr. Mr. Scorn. Somebody stole my pal. Somebody stole my pal. My pal. I knew I was going to get there next. Why, here he is now. Eh? I beg your pardon, sir. Here's Charlie. Huh? Charlie? Yes, sir. Charlie who? Why, the Charlie you were asking for. Oh. oh, oh! well, that's not the Charlie I mean. The Charlie I mean, he walks like this. Here. Say, what sort of a game are you playing on me here? Madam, your instep is much too beautiful to be spoiled by a short, vamp shoe. Do you really think so? Think so? Why, madam? If it were not for the disloyalty to my firm, I assure you, I am not allow it to be covered by a shoe. That foot belongs to the statue of a Greek goddess. Really? But I'll wear these, and you can send me three pairs. Oh, certainly. Three? Four. I'll wrap up five pairs. Oh, <laughs> all right. And here is the address. Are you sure they'll be delivered today? Madam, the shoes will be home ahead of you. Good work. Keep it up. That's what I mean. That's personality. Oh. <laughs> there, that's just what I'm looking for. A low-cut model with a strap. Why, that shoe has no strap, Mrs. Tanner. Hmm? What? Oh, that's absurd of me. <laughs> While you're selecting your shoes, I'm going over here to look for some stockings. Very well. Good morning, Monsieur. Good morning. Uh, Madame. <laughs> Uh, you seated, please. Thank you. Are you looking for something in the way of shoes? Yes, I'm uh, interested in that Queen's model you have in the window. Yes. I'll take three, four pair if you have them in my size. Well, now that's too bad. Well, what's too bad, young man? 
Why, madam, your instep is much too beautiful to be spoiled by a short vamp shoe. <laughs> Thank you. Why, that foot would do justice to the statue of a Greek goddess. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Pardon me just a moment. These are the stockings I was telling you about. Well, they're, they're really an excellent quality, aren't they? Would you like me to order some for you? Order me three pair, will you? All right. <coughs> this, uh, this is, uh, one of our latest uh, models in sportwear. Pretty. Yes, I, I hope you like it. Ouch! How are you doing? I beg your pardon. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> Madam, your instep is much too beautiful to be spoiled by a short band shoe. You said that before. I repeat it. Huh? Well, it does look rather nice. On your feet, any shoe would look lovely. Even a horseshoe. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I, uh, I mean that if anyone deliberately set out to, they, uh, they couldn't spoil the, uh, beauty and symmetry of a foot like that. Well, now, that, that is charming of you to say that. Oh, not <laughs> at all. It's the truth, and the truth never hurts. I think I'll have, uh, four pair of those. Yes, surely. Oh, never mind the check. I'll explain to my husband. I am Mrs. Tanner. Mrs. Tanner? Yes. Yeah. Mrs. John Quincy Tanner? The same. Oh. Well, now does that look com feel comfortable? Young man, you are insolent. I beg your pardon. Well, you should. I, I'm very sorry. Yes. I didn't mean it. I, no. I was just a little fussed, madam. And, yes. And, you see, it's a great honor to be waiting on Mrs. John. Quincy. Tanner. Well, of course, if you're going to put it like that. Uh, now, if you'd stand up, please, and yes, try those. Yes, certainly. I always like to try... Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, my goodness! Oh! Oh, oh help me! I'm sorry! Oh! 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 oh. oh. Well, it's a good thing that you're so light. Huh? For you might have hurt yourself. Well, I, I have been dieting recently. Yes, you, you can really tell that. I tried rolling for a while. Oh. Well, dieting is a very nice habit. Yes, it is. Personally, I, I prefer fish. Huh? Oh. Now then, uh, these are uh, a model that we're very proud of. Well, sir, I, I never had such a comfortable shoe on my foot. Oh, really? How do you like these, madam? How much are they? Just fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars? Ridiculous. Put the old ones back on. Yes, ma'am. Why, they're they're gone. Gone? What do you mean gone, sir? I had them on when I came in. Yes, ma'am. Why, there they are. Lady, you've got on my shoe, huh? Take them off immediately. What what Young man, you're to blame for this. You take those horrible shoes off my feet. Horrible shoes? Well, my shoes well, are no I'm more horrible sorry. than yours. I've got a very dainty foot. Are you ready? Yes, just about. I want to buy some lace next door. I'll meet you in the car. Well, I'll be with you right away. Now, say no more about it. it. Say no more about it. Well, I can't imagine how such a thing could happen. No, of course you couldn't. Well, Mrs. Tanner, it'll never happen again. I know very well it won't, because you won't be here. Please. What is it? Pardon me. Now what are you doing? That's a bright move. Are you deliberately trying to make a fool out of me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, ma'am. You get my shoe and get on my foot and yes. get out of here. You'll hear from this young man. Yes. You'll find out that you can't insult Mrs. Tanner with impunity and get away with it. You'll hear from me later regarding this. Oh! 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 Officer, is it all right to take these shoes aboard? No, 
know, sir. You think one. But I gave the lady my purse assurance that I would take the board. Well, all right, but make it snappy. We're sailing in five minutes. Yes, sir. All right, I will. not that woman at all. Now, just what do you mean? Say, you've got the funniest complex. You think you've met everybody that you see. Yes? Really? Look who's here. Well. Hello. And what do you think? He's going with it. Well, Mr. Harold, now, it's a pleasure to have you with us on the trip. Oh, this is my wife, Mrs. Tanner. This is Mr. Harold. Before. Well, now, that's quite possible, Miss Tanner. You see, I, uh, I might have been there. <laughs> and there you go with that funny complex of yours again. She's always mistaken somebody for somebody else. <laughs> yeah. She's funny that way. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. darling. Well, they'll be leaving any moment now. Let's go up front and see the excitement. Uh, well, uh, you know, I, uh, I'll be right back. I've got to get some cigars. I'll be oh, right here now, don't bother. Why, try one of mine. <laughs> Hey. Someday they'll uh, make one-way cigars. <laughs> Barbara? Yes? Is that, is that not the woman that we met at the Royal Hawaii? And I'm sure I've seen this Mr. Harold someplace before. Why, you haven't bitten off the end. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, how is the leather business this morning? Pretty tough. Mm, they don't to me. Well, perhaps you don't know what I know. What do you know? Oh, uh, by the way, uh, you know, I, I just remembered I must send a wireless. I'll be right back. Oh, now, here, don't bother. Why, that boy over there, I'll take it for you. Huh? Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Sergeant. Come here. to break her, get out of order. Oh. We ought to have a marvelous trip. Yes, that's right. Uh. Madam, your instep is much too beautiful to be spoiled by a short, damp shoe. Did you say something? Oh, uh, nothing at all, Miss Tanner, nothing at all. Uh, you see, we always send our messages in code. Uh, find it much safer. Yeah. That'll be all, Elmer. <laughs> oh, say, uh, speaking of the leather business. Oh, uh, by the way, you know, I just remembered, I've got to see the person. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll be... go with you. I want to see the two. Oh, yes. Well, that's just dandy. Uh, His office is down this way. Oh, well, when did he move? Do you know his face bothers me? 
Oh, you were born bothered. Oh, really? I was so surprised to run into you. Your being here is so unexpected. Yes, it was. <laughs> My hat. Oh, I've lost my. You go right on in. See, I'll get my hat and I'll be right back. Go right ahead. Right. I'll be right back. I beg your pardon, but have you a ticket? Uh, well, why, 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 certainly. You don't think that... Oh, no offense. I found one. I'm merely trying to locate the owner. Oh, oh say. Uh, was that a blue ticket? No, it was a pink one. Oh, <laughs> it would be. Yes, I do. You don't. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. I do. No, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. No, you don't. I do. No. Stuart, uh, serve my breakfast up on deck also. Now, what's your table number, sir? Hey, hey. Oh, now I must have forgotten. Well, never mind. Let it go. Yes, sir. Well, good morning, Sergeant. <laughs> you know, uh, I'll bet that's the roast beef sandwich. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, sir, you know, I think that instead of going below, I'll uh, just eat a bite up here on deck. Oh, by the way, uh... I'm surprised at you. Why, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, eating a sandwich here when you should be working. Ha! Huh. Disgusting. Where's your ambition? Let me tell you something. It's men like you that give sailors a bad name. You know, to be a success, you've got to work 24 hours a day, longer if necessary. Remember, a rolling stone gathers no moss. That's the idea, young man. Oh, <laughs> I do, Mr. Tanner. How do you do? That's the spirit I like to see. Young fellow, you follow his advice and you'll amount to something. How about a stroll along the deck to work up an appetite, huh? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> remember, 
Pick more and eat less. Huh? Uh, no, I was just uh, giving him the Lord Buck. Oh, by the way, <laughs> have a cigar. Oh, no, now... Uh, now, really, don't uh, apologize. I should apologize, but it's the best I've got. Huh? Huh. See you that time. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. We were just taking a constitutional. Oh, well, we were just taking a walk. Well, I don't believe I'll do very much walking. My feet are just killing me. Come on over here and sit down. No use torturing your feet. You are upset enough by this plan to get shoes to pick them. <laughs> well, did you sleep well last night, Miss Tanner? What did you say? Well, I said, did you sleep well last night, Miss Tanner? Not so good. It was a little stuffy in my stateroom. Did it bother you? Uh, no, no, I had all the air I could stand. <laughs> Let's go down for breakfast. Oh, uh, no, you see, uh, I don't think so. I never eat breakfast. No, you see, my, uh, my father never eat breakfast. In fact, it, uh, it runs in the family. Oh, I hate to eat alone. Oh. I'll have my breakfast up on deck and you can sit with me. Well, all right. Surely. All right. Do it. Yes, ma'am. I'll have my breakfast on the upper deck. Yes, ma'am. Come on. It's funny you don't eat breakfast. My favorite meal. Have you been going without breakfast long? Uh, well, uh, long enough. Don't you ever feel tempted to eat breakfast? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> but it's willpower. Oh, indeed, yes. <laughs> Say, isn't it nice eating up here on deck? Much nicer in the dining room. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, last night I sat opposite to a man that had the manners of a zoo. He did? Yeah, he dunked. Think of that, he dunked. Dunked? Yes. He dunked it like this. Took a piece of toast, jammed it down into his uh, coffee, so... Lots of coffee on it, and then... Oh. Think of that. Wasn't that terrible? Disgusting. Yeah, wasn't it? But he kept right on. I was sitting right there. He kept right on. Stuck it down in there. Oh. Yeah, like that. And took it. Wasn't that disgusting? Horrible. Oh, I never saw anybody that would do such a thing. I could hardly stand. And then on top of it, look. He took and he poured his coffee into his saucer. Used the back stroke. Like that. Then he took it, but he took the saucer and went. He made that noise? <sighs> Terrible noise. Oh, well, I could hardly stand it. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. Oh, now look at that. I drank most of your coffee. Oh, oh that's, that's all right. There's plenty more. I only want a little. Oh, well. I haven't played with these since I was a boy. Look, it's a cute trick. Easy, huh? <laughs> you try it. Oh, I could. Oh, it's easy. I'll be good. Here, you throw one up for me. <laughs> You're just like a seal. You know, that's what I was told. When I was a boy, I used to do it my...
absolutely does like ham. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes, nice fine taste. Nice Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a nice dog. Mm. Let's see, would you like one of these? Mm. Would you? Mm. Yes, he liked that. Now, let's see. Now, look at it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I need my finger too. Everywhere magazine. Yes, we have that. Well, that's funny. They were here a minute ago. Read the nice magazine when Mother gets her hat. Hmm. Hello, hello there. Does the nice man have the nice magazine, huh? Yeah. <coughs> oh, shh. 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 There, 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 there.
Have you seen anyone interesting? This lunatic has been following me all over deck this morning. Honestly, if there's anything funny around, I get it. What have you been doing? I've been talking to that ducky looking officer over there. We've been down the engine room with everyone. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, well, I beg your pardon. Why, you fresh thing. I have a good notion to slap your face. Pardon me. Pardon Come me. on, Charlotte. Let's go. I've never met anyone like that. I've never met anyone like that. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful courtesy that you gave. Why, hello there, young fellow. Hello, Lieutenant. Uh, you're not smoking. Yes. Have a cigar. Oh, thank you. Oh, I have a match. Thanks. Well, I told you it'd be a marvelous trip. Nice and cool. Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, yes, it looks like it, uh, it might warm up a little. Uh, Lieutenant, uh, I'd like to take you out for a cigar. Oh, are you going for what? Uh, yes, sir. Which way are you going? Why, I'm going this way. Oh. I'm going this way. I'm sorry. Come on. <laughs> Say, man, what are you doing? You know, you, that magazine cost me a nickel, and you call and knocked it overboard. Uh, read last and take. Well, you two shouldn't be sitting there. Walk around. Say it's great for the appetite. Oh. Well, sir, all food and uh, no play makes Jack a dull boy. Uh, you see, there's nothing wrong with my appetite, Mr. Captain. No? Well, I'm from Missouri. You've got to show me. How about joining us at dinner tonight? Oh, Bill. Oh, gee, Bob, surely. Uh, you've got no idea how delighted I'd be. All right. You know, Mr. Harold, I'm still trying to place you. And I'm going to do it sooner or later. <laughs> it's funny that way. Oh. Forward, March. Don't you hurry. First call to dinner. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, what's everybody all dressed up about? What's the matter there? A wedding or something? No, just the usual thing, sir. Everyone dresses for dinner aboard ship. Oh. Well, is it a law? <laughs> no, sir. It's just a custom. Custom? Yes, sir. But, of course, no one would think of going to dinner unless properly dressed, sir. Oh. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hello, Harry. What's the matter? Feel a little shaky? Yes, I, I had to come up and get some air. I don't want to miss that ship's concert. Say, have you got an extra white vest? Well, sure, there's a couple in my trunk. What size do you want? 36. Oh, that's a little too small. I'll have to get one from Bill. Thanks just the same. Uh, good evening. What's good about it? What's the matter? Feeling upset? Yes, I'm not a good sailor. I must have eaten something that disagreed with me. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> do you uh, get sick easily? Oh, very easily. Mm. So do I. Yes, sir. Say, that's a, that's a nice suit you have on there. What size is that, about 36? Yeah, I wear 36. Mm. You know, speaking of getting sick, they fed me this morning some greasy salt pork for breakfast. Oh, yeah, it didn't do me a bit of good. Oh, please, must you talk about salt pork? Oh, now I beg your pardon. Now, I'm sorry I mentioned salt pork. <laughs> you see, I don't like salt pork a bit. No, sir. But, you know, when you're on a ship like this and it's rocking and it smells of oil, ooh, salt pork certainly is upsetting. Oh. Uh, I could have gotten away with that pork, but uh, they gave me a lot of codfish and cream. Oh, oh yeah, very bad. <laughs> Say, you know, old man, I'll tell you what you need. A walk. Now, I'm telling you, that's the only thing that saved my life when they gave me that salt pork for breakfast. Yes, sir, I'm telling you, here's another thing. When they gave me the salt pork on the same plate 
They put a big mess of spinach, and it was all soft and gooey. It's all right, old man. I'll tell you now. Come on. Let's take a walk. Do you good. <laughs> That'll do me good, too. Say, uh, how about the uh, steam clam? You like them? cigar, I'm all out. You haven't one, have you? Uh, no, no, I, uh, I, uh... Hmm. Hey. Well, I didn't know I had it. Thanks. Oh, I just got to sit down. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my word. Oh, these shoes are just killing me. Oh, I'm oh. sorry, Miss Kelly. Uh, maybe if I ease them up a bit. Oh, don't trouble it. Oh, no trouble. Well, that's nice oh, of you. I'll just soften the heel. Thank you. It uh, might help a little. Hey, what? Careful, are you? Oh. Madam, your instep is much... Yep. Now I know where I saw you before. You're the young man that waited on me in the shoe store. Uh, Aren't you? Well, Aren't you? I, uh, oh, that's ridiculous. What? Isn't it, Mr. Harold? Well, there you go with that funny complex of yours again. Well, of course, I, I, I might be mistaken. But his face bothers me, and you know that I never forget a face. Yes, and when we were traveling in Egypt, you thought you knew the Sphinx. Sphinx, if you please. S-P-I-X. Oh, oh, God. Of course, I, I might be mistaken, but I can swear this is the young man that ruined my feet. Oh, I feel sure you're mistaken. Unroll that and cover that hatch. Yes, sir. Who's that guy? I don't know. Looks like a stowaway to me. Hey, you! Come here! Stop that car. 
Miss Barbara. Oh, good morning, Mr. Harold. Well, good morning. Miss Tanner, there, there's something that, that I want to tell you. Well, I'm listening. So, there you are. Now, look at this. Look at this. Why, Mr. Tanner, what do you mean? I'll tell you what I mean. There's the bid for that army contract. That meant thousands of dollars to me. Those bids were supposed to be in Los Angeles by noon on the 16th, not the 18th. Now, why didn't you tell me it was the 16th? That's tomorrow, and we don't land for two days. And now I lose that contract all on account of your stupidity. But, Mr. Tanner, I'm sure I told you the 16th. You did not. Now, that thing is useless. Oh. oh. And, young lady, as soon as we get back to the mainland, I'm getting myself a new secretary. Secretary. And furthermore, let me tell you... Just a moment, Mr. Tanner. Now, remember, where there's life, there's hope. <laughs> Every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> it's always darkest just before the dawn. An apple a day... Shut up, you. I'm sick and tired of you and your copybook sayings. You can't joke your way through a thing like this. Ah, uh, yes. But actions speak louder than words. That's what you say. Then let's see some action if you're so smart. Say, you've been feeding me with a lot of bluff for three days. Now let's see you do something. You fathead, let's see you get back to Los Angeles by tomorrow noon. All right. I will. I will get to Los Angeles. And you'll find out that where there's a will, there's a way. Ah. Uh, by that. Well, there's no use. It's impossible. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Uh, and you'll see that he who laughs, laughs. Laughs, laughs. There he is. If you came in here, let's take a look in the mail room. Okay. Hey, did you see a fellow come in here? No, sir. Nobody came in here. All right, let's go there. Well, let's get these mail sacks up on deck. That mail plane is due in any minute now. Uh-huh. 
spider that ever lived. Ah, baloney. John L. Solomon could lick him with his hands tied. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Say, listen, you don't know anything about shouting going on around here? The man flying around on outside that building needs help. Where? Right this way. This is a joke. I'll wring your neck. Show me where he is. Right this way. Yeah, that is right this way. Better not be lying to me. No, I ain't lying. Where is he? Yeah, he is right up there.
There's supposed to be a man hanged. I don't get your drift. You know why the side of the building is supposed to be? Yes. Well, it's supposed to be a man hanged. Hey! Hey! one of Dempsey's trainers, and what he told me about that fight. Why, listen, Dooley didn't have a chance. Hey, is the man Listen not... here, if you want you to settle an argument now.
he swings his left, he comes round like this. Uh, uh. I think it was wonderful the way you figured how to get that vid here by plane. Oh. Oh, well, that was mostly luck. No, it wasn't. It was because you stuck to it and made good. Stuck to it? Sticking to it, huh? That's it. Sticking. Uh, wait a minute. Huh. Sticking, huh? <laughs> 